That's like really weird that there's shit coming down through the center. Of yeah. The body. <laughs> we gotta get that fixed. Yeah, that's just. Uh, that's just wrong, Daddy. Okay. And then we need two of those for the wall. I feel better with this. So okay. let's, let's just get this instead of these two, because we really don't need two anyway. Right. This is the bolts that hold the, uh, the case on. Mm -hmm. They're not in front of us. Trying to find a way to make them so that they'll stay where I need them to be. Okay, so we ran into a problem. Yeah, the uh, two cables we need don't seem to uh, yeah, well, fit through the box. But there's always a will and occasionally an air. little duct tape, put it in there, now we don't have any sharp edges, and it's just as good as what we had before. Yep, and both cables fit just fine. Just fine. Alright, we are currently running the cable. Oh, is that blue? There we go. Got it. Okay, so we're Alright, we got all the grounds prepped. So we'll probably have to pull some of this stuff back. But uh, we'll get it here, get the grounds down into the box. Uh, then we take these two blues. This goes in, this and this and this all wind up on the outlet that goes here. Broke it. That sucks. All right, and we have just gotten both the outlet and the switch installed uh, after some trouble with the screws stripping out and breaking. Okay, so we had hit a bit of a snag. We got the wrong type of breakers for the box we got. H O M T bad. What type do we need? Q O. Ooh. Oh, oh. Q. Oh, Q. Alright, let me do this. Let me get my leather man, which was hiding back here. Okay, so we got back from Home Depot. We got a different type of breaker um, that fit. They're much smaller. Well, not much smaller, but they're slimmer. They're also only single breakers. Here. 
Take three. Okay, so we're back from another run to two Home Depots. <laughs> yes, we're behind just one Home Depot run. Yes. Uh, we got the box successfully mounted uh, after getting some one inch deep screws instead of the three quarter that we had. Uh, went through the foam. Uh, we couldn't salvage some of the uh, screws, but we got the rest in just fine. So it's quite stable. Okay, we are now preparing to run the Cat 5E cable. We're going to be running four, or two sets of four, for a total of eight cables on each side. Uh, we've set up these little twist, or these little cable tie guys, uh, with the sticky pad. Since we don't have the raceway yet, we're going to do this as a temporary solution. And meanwhile, John is working on trying to get that punch to cooperate. John's still working on getting that hole for the uh, uh, electric. The freaking guy. Yeah. In the meantime, I'm running the Cat5 cable. Partially run. Is it in? Alright, so we're, we are reconnecting the cable that leads from the main battery bank, or the alternator, to our luxury load battery bank. <laughs> luxury load. Yeah, good call. So now when we have the engine running, we can optionally charge the battery bank back here. Alright, so we have the ex one external networking station in place through that blue tube there. Uh, we have eight Ethernet cables running from the box, the networking box, along the side. They're currently just held up with twist size, but we'll be adding raceway as soon as it comes in from where we ordered it. So the driver side of the deuce is just about set up. And then later this week before Thanksgiving, I'll be hitting up the passenger side.